Good morning, welcome back to another video, and today is another day of the Zero to Gold Cap Challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so for basically today, um, I've been pretty much just doing my world quests and doing my PvP in order to get a hold of enough Marks of Honor in order to learn our blacksmithing parts. So we need 66 of those for blacksmithing and 66 for leatherworking. Once that's all done, we are able to do all of that jazz. So, just note to self, been doing a lot of PvP, not much really to, to report on, so to speak, for the day. But, I have been doing some things intermediately, just farming up random things until I get bored. So I did a bit of Dreamleaf, I did a little bit of all the others, and I've just been farming up new gear for my characters. So, trying to get hold of gearing them up so they can do better farms and that type of stuff. But um, aside from all of that, I have decided to jump on and get hold of my flying, finally. Um, decided to actually just get that done. Champions of Azeroth, we are nearly revered, so should be okay with all of that jazz. But aside from all of this, I do have a plan going forward. Now, obviously, we've been getting into professions, and for obvious reasons, last year we didn't actually focus hard on profession so to speak because it was the gold cap challenge on one character so we were trying to get our brutosaur uh, with one character so we managed to do it just by the skin of our teeth but obviously I've neglected all of my other professions and all my other characters so we're going to have to play catch up now so the things that I really want to focus on at the moment is probably the thing that I want to report on today and the things that I want to double down on is for engineering, I want to at least get my supercharged engine recipe, which I can get from one of the dungeons. All I have to do is go to Operation Mechagon, and it actually drops from within there. So if I do need it, I can get a hold of it, and then I can double down on that. Uh, aside from that, with blacksmithing, it's the same thing, but it's with the chassis. And... Uh, and to add on to this, uh, I do want to get into my alchemy and my inscription. So I've been leveling and doing PvP with my rogue, trying to gear him up, and also trying to get a hold of like the Silas thing and the enchanting thing for my enchanter. As we're going to be doubling down on inscription, alchemy, and and enchanting, it, as well as we'll be trying to get, source all those other recipes for our other professions. And going forward, all we'll be doing with the blacksmithing, leatherworking, and tailoring is mainly just either using tailoring to get expulsum or getting dust. Uh, and with the blacksmithing and leatherworking, the only real things that we'll be probably doing is making the BOE I level 400 gear in order to post on the auction house. So once they're fully set up with all the marks of honor, going forward, there ain't going to be a lot to do with all that jazz. I know you can make a few things with that, like the chassis, which we will be doing because we'll be getting into that mount craft for the ATV mount. And as, along with that, I'm going to try my hand at trying to get hold of the Mecha Mogul as well. So it's just a working progress at this moment in time. And I thought, why not actually complete this? Because we've got all the Pathfinders besides the BFA one. Obviously, I was off put last year because, well, BFA was pretty naff for last year. Um, and um, yeah, I was really put off just bothering to get hold of the Pathfinder and now I've decided I'm going to try and get hold of the Pathfinder. It's not going to take that long because most of the most of the reputations that I need I'm nearly I've got them or I'm nearly there to getting them so like revered with the Rust Bolt Resistance and a Cohen rep and the Najatar Exploration easy as pie to do but we'll finish with part one first with the Azerothian Diplomat and then we'll just go from there. So that is basically what we're going to be doing moving forward. I have, however, got one thing to report on. I started farming up some raids. And if you know, if you've been watching me for a long time, I really do enjoy doing raid farming because I find it enjoyable. And when it comes to gold making, I'd rather do something I enjoy and make a little bit less. But at least I'm enjoying my time of doing it. So... I tried out the WAD raids, and within an hour, we got over 7,000 raw gold. 
Uh, just just saying, for one character per week, um, yeah, 7,000 raw gold if you just do all three raids. And that takes you about an hour to do. So I, uh, I'll i probably be doing that, so to speak. I'll do a full guide on that, actually, co going forward when I've got more data to, to say that it's going to be that amount. But so far, on two runs, we've got roughly around about 7,000 gold of raw gold in our bags. So that's like 14,000 gold we didn't have for like two hours work. Sounds pretty crap, but remember it's raw gold, so we're not selling it on the auction house. So aside from that, let's get into the gold for the day. So moving on with this, we've been pretty much just banging on and doing a load of um, the different world quests. Obviously, I've got a work order for the quick navigation uh, enchant. I'm going to get do that like pretty much as soon as possible. And... At this moment in time, I want to get hold of... My main priority at the moment is to get hold of the chassis recipe for blacksmithing and the engine one for engineering and also getting a hold of my greater flasks for alchemy and then getting a hold of the Silas uh, little quest item. Obviously, this morning I got a hold of the... I got a hold of Iwin's enchanting rod, so now... When I do the disenchanting module, I will be working, I'll be getting a little bit more every now and then, so that's pretty damn good. Um, also, just a little heads up at this moment in time, there was a couple of little problems with the one one of the flipping modules, which is the disenchanting one, and that was for the epaulets. Now, with the epaulets, at this moment in time, it, was, it did have a problem, but now the problem is now resolved. Uh, for obvious reasons, it's not going to be updated just yet because we're just go I'm going to be double checking all of the flipping module to make sure that mm, there's no others that are causing any issues. So bear with me on that. So if you do want to do it, do a tester beforehand before using the flipping module, and then I will do a uh, hot fix once I've tested all of the flipping modules to make sure that they're all working correctly. So if you're going to do milling, just do a stack of 200, zin and thin, see if you get make profit uh, when you turn it into inks, and vice versa with pretty much all of the others, so to speak. So you're not going to lose 10 ton of gold if you just look at it like that. And the problem is taken into consideration, and I will uh, work on it as fast as possible, but Remember, I am only one guy, so it does take a while in order to get that sorted. Aside from that, let's get into the gold for the day, which is 124,468 gold. And the things that are of note is 47 baked void fin for 4,159 gold. We also sold the sunstone panther for 22,050 gold and a vial of the sands for 56,057 gold. Along with this, we also sold 30 masterful sea currents and then another 30 versatile dark opals for 1,315 gold and 1,286 gold respectively. And along with that, we also sold another 64 sage agate for 17,149 gold and another sunstone panther for 22,051 gold. So we've only really made like a thousand gold on those sunstone panthers, but we've got that gold back. So for obvious reasons, we want to make as much gold as we possibly bloody can. So 124,468 gold for these 24 hours. So I'm pretty damn happy with that as our daily pull in and Jumping forward, that has brought our bag value up to 379,406 gold. For obvious reasons, it's doing quite well at the moment and we're slowly getting back that gold from all of those investments into all the other different mounts and all of the other different things we were building upon. And then we'll stockpile up to do a much bigger investment on all that stuff once we hit like another 500k we'll then invest into the new mounts for the chassis and all that jazz and we'll try and see if we can turn a profit on that now aside from this that is basically what i've been doing just a load of world quests and a lot of pvp 
for obvious reasons with the PvP it actually gives me some quite good gear. Obviously I haven't done it really that much on my mage and but the corrupted gladiator spell blade or it's an eye level 440 piece of gear for getting up with your conquest points and I'm basically just going to do that on all my characters because that would just give them a nice little uptick as these guys like some of my other characters are kind of neglected. My mage on the other hand is not that neglected but all the others like my rogue their, their, their item level is disgusting. It's like yeah, it's disgusting. Um, so that being the case, um, I'm just going to have to put a bit more time into getting hold of the Silas stuff and doing world quests and getting into all that jazz. So pulling in some nice gold with our traditional methods, we're going to get into the BFA stuff now uh, as and when we get hold of them. And then I will get into a bit more. So I was thinking about this and if the WAD raids actually do come out to be quite good at about 7,000 gold per hour per run on one character per week, that means I can pull essentially with my 10 120s, I can pull 70,000 raw gold in my bag every week, which is definitely doable on my part. Um, for obvious reasons, I can just do all of them in one day off or something, and bada bing, bada boom, I can get all of that done, or just split it up on, on the uh, days off that I do have, so it's not like a complete mind-numbing experience. So we could get on with that, but I want to do some more tests going forward. Aside from that, guys, that's pretty much all I've been doing. No fancy crafts or anything like that. This is just the bare bones of just getting set up for a bit more gold making. Obviously we'll make more gold when we've got enchanting and alchemy and inscription all fully set up. And then we'll be doing a crafting guide on all that type of stuff because once they're all set up, it's basically the same as doing like a legion one and that. Uh, so that being the case, that's pretty much all I've got to say for the day. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I shall see you on the next video, which will be tomorrow. Have an awesome day guys and I shall see you soon.